We're all aiming for efficient feed conversion and a productive calf rearing system. In this film, part of Dairy Co's calf management series, we're looking at how and why to monitor the growth of calves. I'm here with Nicola, one of Dairy Co's extension officers. Nicola, why is it important to monitor the growth rate of calves? Calf's growth is most efficient in the first few months of life when it's been fed on milk. So it's sensible to maximise this by regularly monitoring the calf's body weight so you can adjust the amount of milk fed to achieve the optimum daily weight gains. In this film, we're going to cover the benefits of monitoring growth, how you can measure a calf's weight, when you should measure a calf's weight, how to calculate optimum daily weight gain for calves under your management system, and how to optimise weight gain. For optimum productivity, we recommend that all heifers conceive by 15 months of age. Weight is more important than age in determining when a heifer comes into oestrus for the first time. So we need to ensure that by 13 to 14 months old, the heifers are sufficiently well grown to be bred and conceived by 15 months. And then having conceived, that they can calve down with optimum frame size. Monitoring calf growth from an early age means you can ensure that calves are growing at the correct rate to meet this target. As we said earlier, it's particularly important to ensure good growth rates in the first weeks of life when feed conversion is most efficient. Alongside allowing you to achieve these target growth rates for breeding, monitoring growth rates also means that you can identify underperforming and sick calves, identify problems in your management system, for example if growth rate slows at a particular time period, such as during weaning, and ensure growth is efficient and therefore cost-effective. There are two ways to measure a calf's weight. You can use electronic scales or a weigh tape. It's also important to measure a calf's height so that you get more information about the way a calf's frame size is developing. Electronic weigh scales are the most accurate, but it doesn't matter what method you choose as long as you use it consistently so you can monitor growth rates over time. Electronic scales should be set up with load bars and a strong platform. Ideally the calves should be encouraged onto the scales with a short race. This makes good practice for later life when they'll have to walk calmly into a crush. The weigh tape is often easy to use with young calves that you can control. Wrap the tape around the chest just behind the front leg and the shoulder blade. Have it flat against the body and hold at a consistent tightness. So for example this calf measures 170 kilograms. It's also a good idea to measure a calf's height, as height tends to alter at different rates to weight. This is because a calf fills out as it gets older. You can measure height across either the withers or the rump using a height stick. You need to have the calf standing on a flat surface. A good idea is to stand the calves in front of a wall with a height scale painted on it. You might be able to combine this with your calf race. We need at least two measurements at different times in order to calculate the rate of weight gain. Thinking practically, it's often best to combine regular measuring with management tasks such as vaccination or dehorning. But there are some particular ages we would recommend recording a calf's weight. Ideally, you should measure the calf's weight at birth. This creates a baseline figure, which will allow you to calculate the average daily gain as she grows. After this, you should measure the calf's weight at regular intervals until breeding age. It's important to weigh calves at weaning to ensure that there isn't a growth check around this time. And weighing at six months of age allows good time for corrective measures before breeding. Once you've taken weight measurements, you can use these to calculate average daily weight gain. This is done by subtracting the earlier weight recording from the later one to calculate the amount of weight gained. This is then divided by the number of days between the recordings. So if a calf weighs 54 kilograms today and 30 days ago weighed 38 kilograms, we can substitute this into our equation and this works out at an average daily weight gain of 0.53 kilograms per day. So monitoring growth rates is important, but how do we establish what the optimum growth rate is for a particular herd? 
Target growth rates will depend on the breed of animal in your herd. So the first thing to do is work out the average mature body weight of your cows. To do this, take the weights of several third lactation animals and work out the average. A heifer should be 55 to 60% of her adult body weight at time of breeding at 13 to 14 months of age. So, for a farm with an average mature cow weight of 660 kilograms, we would aim for weight at conception to be between 360 and 390 kilograms. If average birth weight is 40 kilograms, we therefore need an average daily weight gain of 0.75 to 0.8 kilograms per day up to 13 to 14 months of age. Growth rates are an indirect method of measuring feed conversion. However, other factors such as low temperature and disease can also affect growth rates. But often the simple reason for low growth rates is insufficient feed intake. Feeding a calf sufficient amounts of food shouldn't cause them to scour or become too fat. Their dung might be a little looser, but it should be easy to tell this apart from scouring due to ill health. Becoming too fat is usually a problem in older calves and shouldn't be a problem in young animals. Having enough to eat will also provide them with the energy they need to fight off disease. If your growth rates are too low, the first step is to ensure you are feeding a sufficient volume of milk. You may then wish to consult your nutritionist or vet who may advise you to increase the concentration of milk solids or change to a product with a higher protein content. It's also important to ensure that all calves are taking in sufficient concentrate and roughage before weaning. It is worth looking at your management practices or disease status if you find that growth rate drops at a specific life stage or that some calves grow a lot more slowly than others. So, in summary, Regularly measuring calves' weights and from this calculating growth rates allows you to optimise feeding levels. This ensures that heifers are well grown and ready to breed at 13 to 14 months to be in calf at the target age of 15 months. Feeding calves well during the first few months of life when they're fed on milk is especially important. You can find out more by visiting the DairyCo website or on the fact sheets which accompany this film series.